All right, this video is a bit of a cry for help because I'm having problems uh, getting MIDI to work uh, on my computer with my Yamaha S90 ES keyboard. Um, it's a pretty nice keyboard, um, and I know it has MIDI capabilities. Uh, it's just that when you go through the menus uh, for MIDI, it's not really clear uh, or intuitive when it comes to is it set up properly, is it not? And at the same time, um, well, you'll see on the computer how I'm trying to get that set up. Uh, I'm just not sure if they're communicating with each other properly. So if anyone can help me out, that would be greatly appreciated. All right, so here's my setup. I've got a Dell uh, Precision 390 desktop that I've installed Ubuntu Linux on. It's, uh, I think, 14.04. I'm using Ardour 4.6. Uh, and Jack, obviously, uh, to anybody who already knows how to use Ardour, uh, Jack is probably the most popular way to, to get it all hooked up. I've already figured out how to do audio through it. That's just fine because I'm using um, this interface in the Lisus IO4. It works pretty good. Um, I'll go ahead and turn on the keyboard. Right now it's hooked up via USB. Uh, not MIDI to USB, but USB to USB. And um, I'll go ahead and hopefully get this uh, to where you can see how I've got it set up. I'm opening Jack. Okay, we'll go to setup. Right now, it's as basic as it gets. There's not a whole lot. Uh, I haven't touched this, really. There's a little bit different. I changed, like, the timeout and frames period and stuff like that just to get it where I thought it was acceptable. Uh, driver also that's um, from what I've been told that's what you need um, I could change like in input device an output device it recognizes my keyboard so to me that says there's I know this will work I just don't know how to get it set up right um, SB Autogy I believe that's my sound card I know my tower has an upgraded sound card I didn't upgrade the tower I just kind of bought it this way used so, um, this might be another thing that maybe people could help me with that I just don't understand what's going on with it, but all right, let's move on. Um, I'll just go ahead and start it the way it was. Here's the messages. Um, I don't see anything abnormal. And then we'll open our door. To start this one it was one I did earlier just as a test it always says this warning your system has a limit for maximum amount of locked memory this might cause our door to run out of memory before your system runs and blah 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 it always says that I don't think I've had a problem with it so far but okay so as you can see um, I've got the one MIDI track on here Go ahead and expand this. Okay, so you can hear that that's there, it's working. Um, you can see Yamaha's on here with an S90. I don't know if I need to use that setting or if I should just ignore that. Um, and if we go into, oops, the um, MIDI connections. Okay, right now, like this is the part I really have no idea what should should be or shouldn't be connected. Like here, if I connect MIDI out and MIDI in in our door tracks, I get a feedback warning. Um, so I'll disconnect that. The other thing is this little red light. You click on this, and I get this. Error Jack cannot use real time scheduling. And Jack client acquires um, or acquires self real time error. I don't know if this has anything to do with it or not, but that's been happening as well. Okay, now if I go over here to my MIDI input, it says Ardour Auditioner MIDI out. No idea if that's right, not a clue. Um, if I come down here to the MIDI output says it's disconnected. Um, I, I don't know.
don't know which one to use. I don't know. MIDI master control in or MIDI out left and right. I'm not sure. Here's the other problem. Okay, so one, there's that. I don't know how to set that up to what's correct. I don't know what's correct. Two, I go into jack here. <clears throat> I go to connect. And I've seen other videos where people have this open. They show also, they show their keyboard for readable clients and writable. And over here on writable, they have um, Ardour. I don't have Ardour. I don't know why it's not on here. I have these two. Uh, Audigy, which I think is my sound card. I don't know what to do with it. And this one, I don't know what EMU 10K1, I, from what I've looked up online, I guess that's a sound card too. I don't understand what's going on here. So I'm very novice when it comes to this. I'm used to, um, I'm used to using um, external, um, like, like one of these. A recorder interface controller that's what I'm used to so going to go to a computer is is alien to me um, patch bay uh, I'll just expand all so here you can see my outputs inputs again none of that's plugged in so obviously something's not going to work even when I come down here Okay, this is the keyboard menu. We'll go to MIDI. Okay, and it says uh, basic receive channel one, keyboard transmit channel one, device all, um, which I think that's correct, I don't know. Go over to switch, I have no idea what any of these mean, or if I should change them. Sync, no idea. Other, this one should be on USB. There, so now it's on USB. And these lights, when a signal is being transmitted, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to blink. They're not doing that. So, um, yeah, that's the problem I'm having. I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> if anybody can help me out, it's greatly appreciated. I, I've seen tons of videos on YouTube about hooking up MIDI controllers. Um, most MIDI controllers though are plug and play, I guess, that, that that's all they do. A Yamaha S90 is it's a full-fledged synthesizer uh, with all kinds of features, this being one of them, and so I have to go through menus and get that figured out, and I'm not sure what to do. Um, but when you look in the manual, it's pretty basic. It says using a USB cable, you just put utility F5 MIDI, SF4 other, MIDI in out to USB and it's supposedly that simple. Uh, I know on like Mac and Windows there's drivers but from what I've read online you shouldn't need a driver with ALSA. If it can detect your keyboard then you're good to go which as you saw in the setup it did detect the keyboard um, which I'll show you what happens if I change that. If I change the interface I don't think that's correct but if let's say I do that and hit OK. Uh, so they'll only be uh, effective after restarting. OK. So stop. This is what happens. So that doesn't work. I don't know why. So if we just say, let's change it to the input being this, okay. Well, that's great. So it closed our door. Same thing happens though. So that, that's not a good setup. That doesn't work. So that's my problem. Um, I really have no idea what I'm doing for, all I want to do is be able to use MIDI with this keyboard. 
Uh, I don't want to have to buy another keyboard because I don't. Who wants to spend another eighty bucks when you have the capability supposedly right here at your fingertips? Um, so if anybody can help me, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, thanks.